Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we will be learning what is type cu tight coupling, how can you eliminate it and make your components or classes loosely coupled between each other. So before I begin, I'd like to um, thank my instructors from Essential Developer Academy, Kayo and Mike, for creating such an amazing course. Like I could not thank them more than I could because um, this course is so structured that would help you achieve uh, even more than mastery if you go through the program in step-by-step -step fashion. You would be able to learn testing, TDD, clean architecture, modularity, DI, everything. Everything that would help you scale your career and any project that you are working on to basically infinity. This is word of mouth because I've gone through this program myself and just wanted to mention that I've learned everything from them. So kudos to Kayo and Mike for um, sharing their invaluable knowledge to all the people who are enrolled in the program. Make sure to check their academy and actually enroll because it would pay off for sure. So today's topic is about writing tightly coupled and loosely coupled code, but what do we actually mean by tightly coupled code? So we have to define what it actually means so that we can identify it in our code bases. So here we have a simple example, a view controller that ha like requests a list of users from GitHub public API. It uses a Llamafire to perform a network request, which is get request to this URL and it receives a response back. We unwrap the response, uh, try to decode it, and just print out uh, the users to the console. V very uh, simple app. However, since view controller uses a llama fire directly, there is a tight coupling between them. And let me demonstrate to you by, again, drawing diagrams. So if you have a view controller class and a llama fire in purple, since view controller directly depends on a llama fire, so it actually references it right. It also references the GitHub user struct that we defined in our code. So what is actually a problem? If you are working on a small app and you are happy to couple view controller with a llama fire and you think it's fine and like you would discard the project very soon, it's totally fine. However, if you are willing to maintain your project, this would actually become a huge problem in the long run. So since view controller depends on llama fire, we can't reuse view controller with some other framework of our choice if needed, like URL session or Firebase. And by actual tight coupling, I mean that if I comment out llama fire, import llama fire, Xcode complains that it cannot find a type. And since view controller references AF, which is session inside a llama fire, it actually depends on AF session a llama fire. And we have both source code and modular dependency. So let me comment this back out. Tight coupling is a huge problem because it does not let you reuse in some other con context and you depend on all of the dependencies that are inside Alamo Fire. So basically no re reusability in this sense. However, how can we actually solve the problem? So to solve the problem, we should not depend on concrete types. And the thing that comes into play is D from solid, which stands for dependency inversion. So dependency inversion stands for uh, depending on abstractions instead of referencing concrete types. And we are referencing a concrete type in our example. So to start referencing an abstraction, let's create a protocol. Let's name it a network manager. And to make it very simple, uh, we would not copy entire method because it is actually what we need. But um, let's just define uh, method request, which takes a URL string, with, a str with which is string and a method, which is HTTP method. And it returns as a completion block, a uh, list of GitHub users. So uh, this is the actually the protocol that we need. 
And uh, instead of referencing Elma file directly, let's create an instance of network manager. Oh, however, we have a problem. Because network manager is a protocol, we cannot actually create an instance of it. So we need someone who would adopt this protocol. And since we are mentioning Alamafire a lot in this uh, in this video, let's create an Alamafire network manager. So it would conform a network manager and basically implement this method. Thus, we can move this code here and use the get method. Oops. Instead of printing out list of users, we would complete with um, users. And here, in, since we can't create an instance, an instance of network manager, since it is an abstraction, we should create an instance of Alamafire network manager. And invoke a request with URL string, with get method, and we get users back, which we can print out as so. And let's inspect how our diagram has changed. Since we have a network manager protocol or an abstraction, um, and we have a Lamafire network manager that conforms the protocol, and view controller uses the Lamafire network. However, we haven't actually solved the problem because by introducing an abstraction, we have achieved nothing. Even though we moved logic of sending network requests to some other class, such as Alamafire Network Manager. But the problem is that view controller still references the Alamafire Network Manager directly. And um, since Alamafire Network Manager depends on Alamafire, let me draw one more new uh, here, box new here. It actually depends on Alamafire and Network Manager also depends on Alamafire and we will get down to it shortly why the protocol itself also depends on Alamafire. So since we have a Network Manager protocol, we actually reference a type that's inside Alamafire. And we have a, st and we still have a source code dependency. So commenting out Alamafire again would result in a build error saying that you cannot find type HTTP method in scope. So to fix this problem, we better not reference anything that's inside Alamafire for the sake of not having a strong coupling with Alamafire on the first place. So let's remove the HTTP method and use simply get method here for now. And let's inspect how the diagram has changed. Since Network Manager was having a direct reference to Alamafire, it no longer has right now. However, we still have a reference from View Controller to Alamafire. And uh, as you can see, uh, going through the arrows. Using abstraction didn't even help us because we are referencing we are still referencing a concrete type in our class. And what we actually need is to just reference the network manager and not care about Alamafire network manager. But how can we do it? We can actually define a property inside network man uh, inside view controller as a network manager. And network manager is a protocol. So we don't have to create it ourselves. We are just interested in um, invoking a method and printing out a list of users. So let's inspect the diagram again. Since view controller no longer creates Alamafire Network Manager, we can safely remove the reference from view controller to Alamafire Network Manager and to Alamafire as well. So it only depends on Network Manager right now. And let me prove it by removing an import statement. As you can see, we only get build error inside Alamafire Network Manager. So view controller doesn't care like to which 
framework the network manager talks to. And we can actually go and create another implementation of like network manager defined as URL session network manager. Implement the same method and use URL session shared data task, data task with URL. Oops, URL string, and then we get data response and error back. And do not forget to resume the task. So very simple, um, different implementation of Alama Fire uh, of Network Manager. So the ease of reusability comes to the creation of view controller. So since view controller is created in a syn delegate, we can actually set the network manager to be a llama fire network manager and let's inspect the result. Voila. And we see that we are loading list of users. So if I stop the simulator and use URL session network manager, it still works, right? But I don't have to change anything inside view controller. This is how can we actually achieve loose coupling. Since view controller just depends on a protocol, it doesn't matter what source of truth or like what is the data source for um, network manager itself. Thus, um, let me introduce the URL session network manager as, as though, and it actually conforms to the protocol and it talks to the URL session. Thus, as you can see, there is no arrow change inside view controller. There is just some other new class that uh, implements the protocol or abstraction and thus the stuff that view controller requires. Thus, we can achieve loose coupling, reusability, maintainability, um, ease of reuse, ease of replacing the existing network manager. And since we were referencing a dependency inversion from solid, so we are referencing here the L, which is Liskov substitution principle. So we can easily change the type that we are passing without changing the view controller. So we can replace the type with its subtype without altering the correctness of the program, which is a very, very, very powerful. So yeah, today we've learned what is tight coupling. Uh, do not depend on concrete types and depend on abstractions. So even depending, even while depending on abstractions, make sure to not reference any framework specific type type inside of it. Otherwise, everything gets tied to that specific framework. And we learned how to decouple um, our UI from concrete framework and use an abstraction in place to carry out the work that we need. And we've just covered in a little small detail, Liskov substitution principle and dependency inversion. I hope this lecture was useful to you and I hope I could explain. If not, leave your comments in a comment section. I'll be more than happy to uh, explain if something was very unclear. And in the next lecture, we would learn property constructor and method injection that constitute the foundation of the dependency injection itself. So that's it for this lecture and thanks a lot for watching.